Uh, I'm going to get off the agenda just a little bit. I see Jimmy Mudd's here with us. If you want to kind of maybe give us an update on on uh, the water issue that we had. Uh, we had a meeting, I guess, uh, last Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Uh, that's the start of two hours. Uh, just kind of went back over the same criteria as we had been going over. Checking the uh, white, the white company was representing. Marion Water District and uh, Mr. David Talley was pretty much uh, representing Lake Water. Still about the same issues, the appreciation. You know, we guess what it is with Marion Water District being under BSC has a set of standards, and Lake Water Company does not have to follow those same set of standards. So there's kind of a rub there. Make those <coughs> anyway, the discussion on a lot of numbers went back and forth, and let them want to reconsider or look at it and see if they could adjust the rate or do something. And they're giving it kind of like a week time frame for that to happen. They haven't actually voted yet. None. Once we get that, we are going to have to decide. They may leave it like it is, they may adjust it. I got one question. Did I understand right when he's talking here in the last meeting? There was no discount for usage anymore. No, no, there is not. No. What happened to that? Is that because I, I don't want to be sarcastic or bad, but <coughs> did everybody decide that the people that use more will pay for it anyway? Or well, generally speaking, that's that's a norm. If you're not, you, you can't buy it retail and sell it wholesale. Well, I mean, it's, it's all, at, at the end of the year, it's all based on the amount of dollars anyway. So, it's, uh, but it's, it's basically confusing to me that they do it this way not to get out of, I guess, get out of work trying to calculate that. But I guess it, more, it, it gets back to more, if you don't buy it that way, why should you sell it that way? Yeah, like I said, I understand the water district, Mary Kane water district's position. But I don't understand why it initially changed. That's, anyway. That's 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 the point, that's about the point of change. So you know, and, and you know, we just can't change that rack structure just because we want to. Everything we do has to go before we go to And we and that down when we done that loan for that twelve inch tank of low we had to apply for a rate increase to do that and we thought that was an off time to yeah. start that out. All right, thank you, sir. But back to where we're at, we're, we're pretty much at the same spot we was when we had a town meeting. There was, there was some questions <coughs> after this meeting, and there were some questions that were not. So uh, I guess it's, you know, let me, let the work company will give it up within a week or so. All right. Thanks thank for coming, you. Jimmy. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jimmy. I have number eight on the agenda is consider approval of the list of delinquent accounts to be turned over to GLA for collection. Those are sanitation accounts that we've got. Uh, you all got a list of them here. Oh, shit. Second. Mr. Bishop, 
Yes. 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 And I will mention that's the same company that uh, Lebanon Marion County Water Works uses for their collection accounts also. So, uh, they've had pretty good success with them. Have we just started with getting this is our first first group, so uh, that's the same company that they use. Department reports, uh, Jimmy. It was included in the. We did. Riley the road was included in number it. Number five. Did I get it? Did you do that? Well, no, make sure both of them is. We bid. It's going to be too big. You know. Well, we bid the remaining. The remaining. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to bid the rubber rise too. What do we? Is that under state? Do they? Who does? They that? reimburse you. The yeah, state's we, we state's we funding us, but we have to bid it. So motion to bid know, out the. Uh, we need to put that on there. Is it okay. one mile or what? It, or half? What? A mile and a half. It's a mile and a half both. Second. Yeah, motion to uh, bid out the mile and a half of the Riley Road rubberized asphalt grant we received. Notice it says rubberized this time. So. Yeah, you're right. Mr. Evans? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Mr. Masters? Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Mr. Quill? Yes. And we will be starting blacktop in next week. You know where, where you're going to be about, yeah. Don't they, I'm going to wait to see how much they got going on. Do know that he's going to start next week and if he's going to do a little bit, we're going to do something too. Okay. I want to thank y'all for the local traders. Yep. Works good. Out what about the, uh, you want to go ahead and discuss about the roll off? We, we could. I mean, we're, Keith got it in his. Oh, okay. I mean, we could just. I read, if, you, if you want to read what we got and come back next meeting, oh, it's kind of what we're thinking. Good. Check it out. And make sure we got all got everything <laughs> we need. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you you got the new um, tractor in. That's doing a good job. Oh. It's going to take us a while to get around town. You know. Yeah. Always best to start over right right, right outside <laughs> here, you know, and kind of go work from there. Or Draywick? No. Or Draywick. Well, you can go to Draywick next, but it's fine with me. But. <laughs> I think we decided years ago that you had little trees. That's why he's going to take quick. It would be nice and easy. Is uh, where, where you're trimming right up the sidewalks. overhead like that, is there a lot of more cleanup? A lot more. That's what I was I, thinking. I've but. got a backhoe. When it's out, the backhoe is going to be behind me. Yeah. So, so much stuff laying in the road. Shoot. Try to keep traffic off of it. But it's uh, like it's never been done, so once you do this, then it won't be as much a big a deal right. after. Yeah. We're going to start blacktop, so it's going to be three or four weeks. Yeah. Before we start back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we'll get around again and come early. Thank you. So, Judge, can I go back to the uh, sanitation collection list? Sure. Uh, just so I understand. Now the gentlemen's, the company's going to, they're going to go after these individuals in Correct. regards to the collection. These individuals have already been through court. No, these aren't. This is different. This is not that place. Okay. That's why I was sitting there. No, it's different. Right. So yeah, well, when I was looking at these, these are some accounts that have been there for a while. Some of them. Yeah. yeah okay. And the reason I ask is because I see some of them are over the small claims limit, so. Stuff you know, but anyway. Well, we got to do something to get our list. You know, I mean, that's we got to try to get that. If not, these are they're going to remain on the list. And well, absolutely, it creates no, much more work for us. I'm with to, you 110 uh, percent to, to get them. So that's why we we're going to give that a shot. I Fire in. The water company's had good luck with it, so hopefully we'll. Well, it's not fair. Not fair to those who pay. You know, those of us who pay our bills uh, are the sanitation. Exactly. It's not the cost we all bear. Exactly. It does report to the credit bureau, which is another way to get their attention. So that's what we're trying to do. Yes. Sounds good.
Keith, you got anything? Uh, Karen and I started in the past of mapping the fire hydrants out in the county. It's been out a couple of times. It, uh, it was finding it doesn't take very long to do the mapping of the fire hydrant when we can find them. <laughs> but sometimes the address point is given, uh, there's no hydrant there. And we have to really look hard and we hardly are able to find them all the time. But we will go back and check. Keith, let me ask you a question on this. I don't want to interrupt, but is there a certain time this has to be done? Certain what? Time frame? Not really. Well, uh -oh. what, I'm, what I'm wondering is, I know right now you got John's grass, you got all kind of yeah, everything. Would it be easier? Surely it won't be out in the middle of the cornfield. You know, I, yeah, you uh, would. After, after frost, you got a lot of weeds. You can be able to see these things, hopefully. We hopefully. Okay. We're going to double check and go back and make sure. How many are you trying to find? Probably oh. about 150. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think. I think Mesh and Mesh has a, I mean, that's an excellent thought. It's going to be a whole lot easier after the frost or in the fall, so. Bunch of ticks. And the second thing I've got. Each fire department can't help you, Steve. Uh, Have you checked with them? I mean, it's a Marion County. It's, this is the area between the other districts and the city of Lebanon is where we're, is basically where we're at, Marion County District. Marion County Fire District. It's where we're at. Jimmy so, probably hit so, the uh, area. Well, the Barbersville area is fine. They know where all those are at. It's just oh, yeah. it's just that area between Loretta, Braversville, uh that nobody has defined where they're at. So that's what that's what Keith's doing right now. He's got the GPS uh, yeah. system to do I'd it. I'd say yeah. But they have to be identified to be hydrants. able to. The actual hydrants. What's that? We're looking for actual hydrants now, not refills. See, that's that. Hydrants. Well, well, now, hang on. Physical, actual physical hydrants picking up a little drain. Now, we're talking about a dry hydrant or an actual hydrant? Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm I can't right imagine there. that there's 100 hydrants. 150. Do you? I mean, can, I, well, I'm you could you could probably tell uh, us. There's a different. I'm to, you know, there's, a, there's above the ground certified fire hydrant. And then there's the, what do they call them? Call them refills. We call them post hydrants or ground hydrants. Yeah, there post you go. Hydrants. So, and I don't know why you would. So the question I I don't mean this wrong. The question I've got is that if they're if they're the type of hydrants that you're talking about. Uh, are they worth finding? Yes, the, the, the new ISO, from my understanding, is they're looking at everything. Mm -hmm. So anything you've got that will assist in fire protection or water is, is going to be beneficial Help to do. Out. So that's that's why we're, that's one of the things he said we needed to do. So that's, that's good. Yeah. The question also, when we find these things, would it be some way that the fire departments or high school kids or somebody could paint these things? That's another another or a fundraiser raise money from that's thing. another way to help your rating is to have them visible so you know there's several things we need to do in the county because we don't have the best iso rating and, and it doesn't seem fair to the people that don't uh, have a better rating so uh, i agree we need to do a, make an extra effort to try to do and that's what we're doing that's what we're trying to do right now so you know that'd be something else that uh, i think yeah the tech center i think there's even some uh and there's every now and then, and there's some uh, young men and women get in trouble. They need some hires to Could do some things. Some community service hires, that'd be a good thing. I think thing that'd be great, put them up there in that sun, let them paint a little while. Let them weed eat around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. And some of the, uh, the we what is that sniffing the paint? Yeah. yeah, you can't control there it. There one right. time we put in a lot of those they call dry hydrants. Now, they, they don't help the ISO rating, but if you knew where the, because I know several that are not really on the road or kind of off by big lakes or ponds. Uh, they actually do help now. They are they giving them now. some credit for They're those. Considered. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't like, or like three that are not right by the road, but they're off a little ways by a big water source. What we're doing is we're mapping the ones that are really obvious. Yeah. And we'll go back and contact that. Most of those were put in by contractors instead of Jimmy, and they were put in by 
some, some just the contract just dug a line and put a dry hydrant in. Uh, so they might be a little bit more difficult to figure out where they're all at. But the key did provide uh, um, some a report on the C D and D issue we're having. Uh, there's an extra page that we were asked to come up with. If you guys want to look at that for next meeting and we'll discuss that. Gotcha. This is based on your information, Keith. Back, back to the hydrant deal. Uh, at one time, you know, I think you called them refill stations or something. Yeah. Now they're different. I know they're different than a fire hydrant, but can they tell physically by looking at them that they're different, or do they look the same? Or. But most, most of them are flat to the ground, aren't they, Jimmy? Yeah, and I'm going to tell you what, good luck finding them. Yeah. Right. Well, we're going to do the outreach first. Yeah. We'll come back Anything's going to help. What we well, got. yeah, we don't, right. we don't have any map at all of them now. So. Well, that's a great idea. Thank you. That'd be awesome. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I just can't think right off hand because we keep their plant sprayed on the big hydrant. I think it's going to be the same thing with the fire hydrant. Well, thanks for your help, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Keith. I can handle that. I called you that night and Nancy said you was going over it. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. I was. Thank yeah. you, Keith. You got anything else? Going over it. All right. Appreciate it. Thank Mark? You. I feel like I can copy off the hill drums. We had a jail meeting this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did pass out the monthly report this afternoon prior to the meeting. If you'll note the uh, last three pages, there are lesson plan lever, uh, uh, cover letter, and they will be submitted to you know, Scott Sharp, uh, local government, for training hours for each person with physical court. The meeting is welcome to attend the meeting. Uh, we will attempt to get 12 to 15, 12 to 16 hours of mm -hmm. your training out of that approved training from uh, from local government. Does anybody have any questions about the monthly reports? I'll play around that and that may have any questions about our projects. Will you, uh, like, when you get a clarification on that, will you? No, got any idea of when that'll be, or will you notify us, judge or? Uh, well, the lower of this class is today, Mike. Whatever. No, the, the, I know. Does uh, Sharp have to approve it before you do it, or something? Yes. Once they're submitted and they're uh, prepared, now ready to be submitted. Once they're submitted, I think he'll approve it okay. rather quickly. Mr. Wicker, I thought the jail committee meeting was excellent, didn't you? I did. Yes, we, it was really fun. And uh, well, uh, I will fill you in on it, Mr. Yeah, Mr. I, I would appreciate that. I, I, I will. I was going to call Barry about the timing of the jail committee meeting. I'll make one at a little later time of the day. At the time he has them, they're very difficult for me. You don't get up that early. We'll fill you in at the next meeting, right? Yeah, we got you. And that's the reason I say we'll hold this. We got you covered. Sounds good. Get emails or what? Do, how do they notify on that, Mark? They email or what do they? How do they notify your mate? Uh, we'll let you know. 
Uh, one way or the other, once we get it uh, approved, yeah. then we'll set a time and date for the April. Uh, I talked about it for you, like your meeting you had today. I didn't know anything about it. It was a jail it's committee. Committee. Meeting. It's a jail committee. Yeah, it's a jail committee. Uh, Three you could have attended, but there's well, an empty seat there. Some of us have to work, yeah. too, though. We don't need to. <laughs> if the rest of the court wants to be notified of those meetings, I'll be contacted. Oh, please do if you want to. I'd love to have them there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Robbie. Thank you, Mark. Currently, we're at 1,802 titles of the year. And, uh, you know, this has made his work to be retired, not covered in part. Jim, uh, 27 years with the county. Actually, and the first one to retire with 27 years, is that correct, Robbie? First one from EMS to retire with 427 Marion County. We've had other people retire, but these are the first ones to retire with 427. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to him. 27 years, a long yeah, time. Very impressive. Done a good job, though. How many you got in, Mark? How many years you have in? Do I have in? I'm finishing 25. You need to get them close. Uh, have a guy in Megas Martin retired today? 41 years. 41 years. Did he meet the retirement protocol? Oh, Life in two days. <laughs> <laughs> 40? That's wild. Shoot. Laura, you got anything? Clean it up constantly, yeah. yeah. You know, whatever. So that's it's, it's Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have any update on St. Joe's Siren if they've ever gotten the part? I know they ordered the parts, but. No, I think he was waiting for Alan. I mean, yeah. those parts, Alice, those parts, I will say this, and I. Those parts do take three months or about. I mean, they're forever getting it. So, yeah. I hate it. It's such a long. There's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of scary. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate you coming. Okay.